Okay, I try to play. Um, uh, uh, what? Uh, C C sharp, Chengdu, and see whether the tune come in correct or not. Because my voice is a bit low. Uh. My voice is a bit low. So uh, I try this and see. Just doing this practice here. Uh, just to take a break and uh, practice a few songs here. So uh, this is my chord for Chengdu. Alright, uh, uh, my uh, this is how I record how I record my chord in Romanized uh, Romanized manner, right? Because if I use this manner. I'm able to uh, switch any key, right? First, third, fourth, fifth. Uh, inverted comma is a fifth. No, no, V. So I use this way of uh, memorizing the chord. 
uh, at any point of time, you know, I can use the uh, Siki, Diki, Iki, depending by using Romanized. Uh, personally, I find that if you use Romanized way to record your chord, in accordance to the circle of fifth, the circle of fifth, it helps very, very much in uh, 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 transposition. Uh, before I learned the uh, circle of fifth, and recording this in this manner, I always have problem in transposition. Now uh, I use Romanized way of uh, recording the chord, then I can change the key very easily without having resort to a pencil to rewrite the chord. Straight away I look at it, I can do it. So. Circle of fifth is the foundation of this uh, Romanized uh, way of recording chords. So that was the I play in the C sharp key. Uh, I hope this helped myself because uh, I, as much as it helped you, because when I record something and I look at it again and again, I learn, I improve, I know where it's gone wrong. Thank you for joining me. This is a uh, uh, hutan, uh, hutan kopi, kopi hutan. You can see the places here. Okay, so uh, that's all for the day. I uh, appreciate your following me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.